Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, the Cubs are going to kick off a seven-game road trip, and this is going to be critical to their playoff chances, however modest they may be at this point. The Cubs are going to play three games in Colorado against the Rockies. The Cubs are actually two games ahead of the Rockies in the chase for the wild card and three and a half games behind Washington, who currently holds the second wild card position. They will then proceed on to St. Louis, who the Cubs are in second place, but trailing the Cardinals by eight games for the division lead. So today in Colorado, we are going to see the Cubs sending their ace, Hugh Darvish, out to the mound today. Darvish coming out, making start number 29. He is 9-8 and eight with a 380 ERA and a 120 whip. Darvish will be supported by a cast of Cabrera, Rizzo, Bryant, Bruce, Bradley in center, Ramos, Paradas playing shortstop, and Santana playing left. Darvish doing the pitching and batting ninth. For the Rockies, Chichi Gonzalez is going to be the starter. He's making appearance number 11 this season, coming in at 2 and 6 with a 4.36 ERA and a 133 whip. The Rockies lineup will include Hampson, Dahl, Blackman, Arenado, Story, McMahon, Deza, Walters, and Gonzalez batting ninth and doing the pitching. It is 73 degrees. The wind is blowing in from left at 9 MPH off of the mountains out in left field. So let's see what today's game has in store for us. The Rockies are coming out to take the field as Gonzalez is making his warm-up pitches. Beautiful backdrop, as always, here at Coors Field in Colorado. So Cabrera facing off with Gonzalez to lead off this game. One ball is the count. Cabrera waiting for the pitch. Rockies coming in at 70 and 75 while the Cubs coming in at 71 and 72. Gonzalez is looking for the sign, and here's the pitch. Popped up left side, the pitcher goes over, he's called off by the third baseman Arenado, and the play is made for out number one. Rizzo now batting, one out, nobody on. He went one for three in his debut for the Cubs yesterday. One and two is the count. Rizzo waiting for the pitch. And he is hit. Man, he is hit right in the shoulder. I don't remember if that was the same shoulder he was injured earlier this season, but regardless, that's got to hurt. So Rizzo heads down to first, and Bryant now is the batter with one out and one man on a one ball count. And Bryant grounds it to short. The throw goes to second, the relay to first, and a 6 4 3 double play will end the inning. So. The Rockies face the minimum. We're going to the bottom of the first of a scoreless ball game. Darvish facing off with Hampson here in the bottom of the first. Full count. Darvish looking for the sign. And here's the pitch. Inside for ball four. Darvish issues the walk. Hampson heads down to first. And now David Dahl is the batter with nobody out. One man on. Three and one is the count. And a liner past Rizzo into right field. That's going to be a base hit. Hampson rounding second, heading for third. The throw goes to third, and it is late. So the Rockies now have first and third with nobody out, and Blackman is the next batter. Blackman facing Darvish with a 2-0 count. Darvish with the pitch. Hit hard, deep right center field. I think he got all of that one, and it is gone. So the Rockies have a 3-0 lead here in the bottom of the first inning. Darvish giving up the three-run bomb, 412 feet out to right center field. So, 3 nothing Colorado, nobody out. Nolan Arenado is the next batter. One and two is the count, Darvish with the pitch. And that's lined in the left field, that'll be another base hit, going all the way down into the corner. Arenado rounding first, he's heading for second. He slides and he is safe with a leadoff double. So, Arenado sliding into second gives the Rockies a runner in scoring position with Trevor Story coming up. Nobody out. 1-1 is the count. Darvish working. Popped up. Left center. 
Coming in fast is Bradley. He makes the catch. That is out number one. That is Santana out in center field today. No, Santana was the one that was called off. Bradley made the catch. And now McMahon is the batter with one out, one man on. Here's the first pitch from Darvish. And that's lined into center field. Bradley on the run, and he makes this catch for out number two. So Bradley with a nice running catch heading to his left and brings up Daza. With two outs, one man on. Two, two is the count. And a grounder toward first. Rizzo scoops it up, steps on the base. That is out number three. So the Rockies score three times on the home run. We're going to the top of the second of a 3-0 ball game. Cubs going to have to get the offense going to get back in this game. Jay Bruce coming up against Chichi Gonzalez. First pitch from Gonzalez. Here it comes. Lined into the gap in right center field. That is going all the way to the wall. Bruce has extra bases, rounding first. Sliding in a second, he has a leadoff double. So Jay Bruce giving the Cubs a base runner here in the top of the second. And that will bring up Jackie Bradley. Nobody out, one man on, one strike count. And Bradley lines that one into center field. That is going to be caught. Oh, a diving catch. A diving catch by Deza. And Bradley is robbed of a base hit. I guess a little bit of karma there for the number of times Bradley has done that to other batters. So Wilson Ramos now batting with one out, one man on. One strike count, Wilson Ramos waiting for the pitch. And that's grounded toward first. Picked up, steps on the base, that is out number two. The runner, Bruce, will advance to third. And it'll bring up Paradas. He is three for seven in his brief tenure as a Cub. Coming up with two outs and one man on. One and two is the count, and Paradas pops it up. Deep to center field, going back to the warning track and making the catch, that is out number three. So he gives it a ride, but it's just a few feet short and straightaway center field. We're going now to the bottom of the second of a three nothing ball game. Darvish will face Walters to lead off the bottom of the second. Two and one is the count, Darvish. And that's a base hit into right, past Rizzo for a leadoff single. So Walters is on first, and it brings up the pitcher, Gonzalez. Nobody out, runner on first, and a bunt is laid down. Well, Ramos pops up to get it, he throws down to first, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Hampson now the batter with one out and one man on. Here's a full count pitch, and that's popped up on the infield. Rizzo going over, he makes the catch in foul territory for out number two. David Dahl coming up with two outs, one man on. Darvish working with a one and two count. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. He blew that fastball right past him. So the Rockies strand a runner. We are going to the top of the third of a three nothing ball game. Danny Santana will lead off for the Cubs here in the top of the third. Facing off against Gonzalez. Liner into the gap in right center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. So Santana with a little seeing eye single that cleared the second baseman, found the hole in right center, and now Darvish is batting with nobody out and a runner on first. Darvish, 10 for 45 on the season with five RBIs, waiting for the one and two pitch, and Darvish lays down the bunt. The catcher pops up to get it, throws down to first, and the sacrifice is successful. So Darvish advances the runner to second. And that'll bring up Cabrera with one out, one man on. First pitch to us, Drupal Cabrera. And he lines that one down the right field line. That's going to drive in a run. Extra bases for Cabrera as he rounds first, heading for second. He's going to have a stand-up RBI double. And the score is now 3-1 to one in favor of the Rockies as the Cubs get a run back. So Rizzo now batting with one out, one man on. Gonzalez working with a 2-2 count, and Rizzo grounds it to first. Picked up and steps on the base. That is out number two. And in effect, that is a sacrifice as Cabrera advances to third unopposed. And now Chris Bryant is the batter with two outs and a runner 90 feet away. Cubs continuing to try to chip into this Rockies lead. Here's the first pitch to Bryant. And he lines that one in left field. That'll drive in the run. Cabrera comes home to score. Bryant has the RBI single, and this is a 3-2 ball game. 
So Bryant on first now, and Jay Bruce is the next batter with two outs and one man on, a one strike count. Bruce grounds it to second. The throw goes over to first, and that will end the inning. So the Cubs score twice. It is a three to two ball game going into the bottom of the third inning. Blackman will face off with Darvish to lead off the Rockies half of the third. One strike count, Darvish with the pitch. Lined in the left field, that's gonna be a gapper going all the way to the wall. The left fielder, Bruce, is chasing he, as, or Santana is chasing, excuse me. And so Blackman is gonna slide in with a double. 30th double of the season for Charlie Blackman. It brings up Nolan Arenado with nobody out in a runner in scoring position. Darvish working with a 2-0 count. Here it comes. Lined into the gap and right center, left center field again. That's going all the way to the wall. The run's going to score. Arenado is going to slide into second. The Rockies have back-to-back -back doubles, and now this is a 4-2 ball game. So that one got over Bradley's head, went all the way to the wall. Arenado gets the RBI double, and it brings up Trevor Story. Nobody out. Runner on second once again. Darvish working with a 1-0 count. And a grounder up the middle, that's going to get into center field for a base hit. Is Arenado going to try to score? No, he does not. He gets the stop sign at third. Story gets the single. The Rockies now have first and third with nobody out. And Darvish continuing to labor out there on the mound. He's going to face McMahon with nobody out and two men on. 2-2 two, two count Darvish with the pitch. Popped up. Deep center field. Going to be playable, but it'll be plenty deep. And Bradley makes the catch on the warning track. The runner tags up to score from third. And it is now 5-2 to two in favor of the Rockies as they have reestablished the three-run lead. Daza now the batter. And the Cubs bring in a relief pitcher. Kerry Wood has seen enough. He is heading out to the mound. He's going to bring in Casey Sadler. With one out. And a runner on first, Sadler coming in to relieve Darvish in the bottom of the third inning. So Sadler working 2-2 two, two count, and it's popped up on the infield. Rizzo heads over, and he makes the catch for out number two. Sadler now working to Walters with two outs, one man on. Two and one is the count. And there's a liner in the left field. That's going to be a base hit. Walters took that one the other way. And he got a two-out single. Story advances to second. And now the pitcher, Gonzalez, is the batter. With two outs, two men on. One ball count. And he grounds it to third. Bryant has it. Throws over to second and ends the inning. The Rockies score twice. They're taking a 5-2 to two lead into the top of the fourth inning. Bradley is going to face Gonzalez here in the top of the fourth. He is 0-1 for 1 today. 2-2 two, two count. Bradley waiting for the pitch. And he drives that one straight away center field. That's going to be off the wall. Bradley coming into second. He's heading for third. He is going to try to stretch this to a triple. He slides, and Bradley is safe with a leadoff triple in the top of the fourth inning. He hit that one to straight away center field. Just a rocket off the wall. And a leadoff triple brings up Wilson Ramos. Nobody out, top of the fourth inning, 1-1 one, one count. And he lines that one into right field, but that's going to be caught in short right by the first baseman, McMahon, for out number one. Paradis now the batter with one out, one man on. He's facing Gonzalez with a full count. And there's a liner down the right field line. That will drive in the run. Paradis has a one-out single. Credited him with the RBI, and now it is a 5-3 Rocky lead. Santana coming up with one out, one man on. Top of the fourth inning, facing Gonzalez. 2-1 and one is the count. Santana waiting for the pitch. Liner into left field. That's going to be another base hit. Rounding second, but holding is the runner, Paradis. So the Cubs now have first and second with one out. And we are going to see, I believe, a sacrifice here by the pitcher Sadler. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and he lines that one to the left field. But a diving catch. Oh, Sadler, he got robbed. Dahl on the run makes a diving catch. 
Sadler surprised everybody by swinging away at that pitch as the infield was drawn in. And now Cabrera batting with two outs and two men on. Cabrera facing Gonzalez with a one ball count. Here's the pitch. And that's popped up to right. I believe that's going to end the inning. Routine play, and it is caught by Blackman for out number three. So the Cubs strand two. We're going to the bottom of the fourth of a 5-3 to three ball game. Sadler is going to face the top of the Rockies lineup in the bottom of the fourth inning. Here's a one ball count, Sadler working. Grounder up the middle. Picked up by Paradis, throws over to first. That is out number one. Dahl now facing Paradis with one out, nobody on. One and two is the count, Sadler. And that is strike three called on the changeup. So Sadler strikes him out for out number two. Blackman now the batter with two outs, nobody on. 2-2 two, two is the count. Blackman waiting for the pitch. And that's a liner down the left field line. On the run, however, is Santana. He hustles to make that catch for out number three. So the Rockies retired in order by Casey Sadler. We're going to the top of the fifth. It is a 5-3 ball game. And Anthony Rizzo leading off for the Cubs in here in the top of the fifth inning. Eight runs scored already in this game. The Cubs looking for more to try to come back here in the top of the fifth. Here's a one strike count. And Rizzo grounds that one to second. Thrown over to first, that is out number one. Bryant now batting, one out, nobody on. The shift is on as Bryant waits for the 2-2 pitch. And that's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Bryant chases the fastball that was down and it brings up Jay Bruce with two outs, nobody on, one, one count. Bruce lines that one past the second baseman into right field. He beat the shift, and he has a single. So Bruce standing on first with two outs, and Jackie Bradley is the batter. He is one for two today. Bradley facing Gonzalez with a 2-2 two -two count, waiting for the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. He chased a fast ball up, and that will be the end of the inning for the Cubs. A runner is stranded. We're going to the bottom of the fifth of a 5-3 ball game. Sadler coming out for inning of work number three in relief of Darvish. He is going to face Nolan Arenado with a one ball count to lead off the Rockies half of the fifth. And there's a liner past the third baseman in the left field. That's going to be a base hit for Arenado. So a leadoff single off of Sadler. And that will bring up Trevor Story. Nobody out. One man on. 0-2 count. And popped up left center. Heading over is Bradley. He calls off Santana on the warning track and makes the catch for out number one. McMahon now the batter with one out, one man on. First pitch from Sadler. And a liner in right field. That's going to be a base hit. Cut off by Bruce. Gets it back into the infield quickly. So one out now. And two runners on for the batter, Jonathan Daza. Daza facing Sadler with a two and one count. And there's a grounder to second. Picked up, thrown to short, relay to first, and the four, six, three double play ends the inning. So Sadler works out of the jam. We're going to the top of the sixth of a five, three ball game. And Wilson Ramos is gonna lead off for the Cubs here in the top of the sixth inning. He's gonna face Gonzalez, who's at 70 pitches with a one ball count. Ramos waiting for the pitch. Grounder toward first, picked up by McMahon. Wins the foot race to the bag, and that is out number one. Paradis now the batter. He is one for two with an RBI in this game. One out, nobody on base. One and two count. Paradis waiting for the pitch. And a grounder back to the mound. The pitcher picks it up. Throws to first. That is out number two. Santana now batting. The left, or the switch hitter Santana stepping up from the left side against the righty Gonzalez with two outs, nobody on. 2-0 count, and Santana pops that one up to short left field. The shortstop goes out and makes the catch for out number three. So the Cubs go down in order in the sixth. We're going to the bottom of the sixth inning of a 5-3 ball game. And now Junior Fernandez is going to be the next relief pitcher of the Cubs. He comes out to face the eight, nine, and one batters in the Rockies lineup in the bottom of the sixth inning. Fernandez working with an 0-2 count. And Fernandez looking for the sign. Here's the pitch. 
popped up to center. Bradley coming in, has a line on it, and makes the catch for out number one. Gonzalez now batting. The pitcher comes up, batting for himself in the bottom of the sixth. 2-2 two, two count. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That was a changeup, and that wasn't even fair. He was way out in front of that one. So now Hampson is the batter with two outs, nobody on. 0-2 oh, count. Hampson waiting for the pitch. And that's a pop-up to left. Coming in fast is Santana. He gets under it to make the catch for out number three. Rockies retired in order in the sixth. We're going to the top of the seventh inning of a 5-3 ball game. And Mike Tauschman is going to be the pinch hitter of choice in this situation. He comes up to the pitcher's spot to lead off the Cubs in the top of the seventh. He's going to face Gonzalez. Cubs down by, by two. Looking for some base runners to get something going here in the top of the seventh inning. 3-0 is the count. Tauschman waiting for the pitch. That is low. It is ball four, and Tauschman draws the walk. So the leadoff man is on, and now the top of the Cubs lineup turns over as Drupal Cabrera is the next batter. Nobody out. First pitch to Cabrera. Driven to right center field. I believe that's going to be playable. The right fielder comes over. He makes the catch. Blackman on the warning track for out number one. Rizzo now batting. One out, one man on. Top of the seventh inning. Critical situation here for the Cubs. 2-2 two, two count. And Rizzo lines that one into center field. Over the center fielder's head and all the way to the wall. Rizzo just hit a rocket out to center field. He's going to have an RBI double as Tauschman comes all the way around to score from first. This is a 5-4 ball game. Bryant now batting with Rizzo on second and one out. Gonzalez working on the mound. One strike count. And Bryant lines that one in the left field for another base hit. Rizzo's coming around third. Nope, he's going to get the stop sign. So Rizzo will not try to score. Bryant has a single. And now the Cubs have runners on the corners with one out in the top of the seventh inning. Cubs with one run in. Down by one. Jay Bruce is the next batter. Bruce facing Gonzalez. Full count. Bruce waiting for the pitch. And he lines that one in center field. That's going to tie the ball game. Rizzo comes home to score. Bryant advances to second. Jay Bruce has an RBI single, and this game is all tied up at five. Jackie Bradley now will be the next batter, and he will face the Rockies reliever, one-time Cub Wade Davis. Davis coming in with 52 innings thrown, 26 walks, 48 strikeouts, and a 588 ERA. Bradley facing Davis. In a tie ball game with one out, two men on. Bradley waiting for the 0-2 pitch. Davis looking for the sign. And here it comes. Swing and a miss for strike three. So Bradley waves at a ball that was inside. And that is the second out of the inning. Wilson Ramos now the batter with two outs. Two men on. Two and one is the count. And Ramos drives that one into center field. That is going to be caught. Oh, a sliding play as Daza makes the catch for out number three. So Ramos lines out to end the inning. The Cubs, however, score two, and they tie this game up at five. We're going to the bottom of the seventh inning now, and the new relief pitcher of the Cubs is going to be Edwin Diaz. He comes in with 57 and two-thirds innings thrown, 25 walks, 85 strikeouts, and a 390 ERA. He will face Dahl, Blackman, and Arenado, in the Rockies, half of the seventh. Here's a 2-2 two -two count. Diaz looking for the sign and the pitch. A check swing, strike three. The umpire rings him up. That was a fastball at 99. And now Blackman is the batter with one out, nobody on. 2-2 two -two count. Diaz with the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Got him with the slider. So Diaz strikes out. The first two batters he faces, and that'll bring up Nolan Arenado. Nobody on base, two outs, bottom of the seventh, one and two count. And Arenado is struck out looking. So the, the Cubs retire the Rockies in order. Diaz strikes out the side. We're going to the top of the eighth of a 5-5 tie. Isaac Paradas coming up for the Cubs here in the top of the eighth inning. He is going to face off against Wade Davis, who's coming out. He got the 
final two outs of the seventh inning. Two and one count now. Paradas pops it up to center. Heading over and making the catch is Dahl, or Daza, excuse me, for out number one. Santana now batting with one out, nobody on. Facing Davis from the left side with a one strike count. And there's a grounder up the middle. Shortstop has it, throws over to first. That is out number two. Hap now batting. He is pinch hitting for the pitcher's spot in the top of the eighth inning. He comes up with two outs and nobody on. And Hap waiting for the first pitch. And that's popped up to right. Coming in fast is the right fielder, Blackman. He makes the catch in shallow right for out number three. Cubs retired in order in the eighth. We're going to the bottom of the eighth inning of a 5-5 ball game. And Rossiel Iglesias will be the next Cub pitcher here in the bottom of the eighth. He will face Story, McMahon, and Daza in the Rockies lineup. Iglesias working with a one ball count. And here is the first pitch. And that's line left field. I believe he got all that one. That is a home run. So Santana looks up and watches it leave. Story hits a 412-foot home run to give the Rockies a 6-5 lead in the bottom of the eighth inning. Iglesias now will face McMahon with nobody out, nobody on, one and two count. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Iglesias gets the strikeout for the first out of the inning. And now Daza is the batter. One out, nobody on, one one count from Iglesias. And a liner right at Bryant. So that is caught for out number two. Walters now the batter with two outs, nobody on base. Two, two count, Iglesias working. And a liner in the left field, I believe that's going to drop in for base hit as Santana plays it on a hop. A two out single for Walters. And that is going to bring up a pinch hitter. Daniel Murphy is going to pinch hit for the Rockies here in the bottom of the eighth inning. He comes up with 27 home runs on the season. Pinch hitting for the pitcher's spot with a runner on first and two out. Here's a two and one count and Iglesias with the pitch. There's a grounder to short. Picked up, flipped to second, and that will end the inning. So Iglesias allows the solo home run. The Rockies are up 6-5 going into the top of the ninth inning. And now the Rockies bring up Gyro Diaz to try to lock this game down and get the save. Gyro Diaz has thrown 37 in the third innings, allowed 16 walks to 40 strikeouts with a 2.65 ERA. He is going to have to face the top of the Cubs lineup, Cabrera, Rizzo, and Bryant here in the top of the ninth inning. Diaz with a 2-2 count, working to Cabrera, who's stepping up from the left side. Diaz looking for the sign, 21 saves on the season, and there's a grounder towards short. Picked up, thrown over to first, and Cabrera's retired for out number one. Rizzo now facing Diaz. He is one for three with an RBI in this game. One out, nobody on. Top of the ninth inning, Cubs down by one. Rizzo waiting for the first pitch, and he lines that one in right field. That's gonna be a base hit. So Rizzo, with the one out single, represents the tying run over on first, and it brings up Chris Bryant with one out, and one man on. Bryant, one for two today with an RBI. He is facing Diaz. First pitch, and that gets away. Rizzo is going to scamper down to second, and the tying run is in scoring position. So Diaz now facing Bryant with a runner on second and one out, and a one and two count. Bryant swings and misses for strike three. So that was a slider down and away, and Bryant strikes out swinging for the second out of the inning. Jay Bruce is now the batter. He comes up for the Cubs. He is three for four with an RBI on the day. He is facing Rizzo with two outs. Facing Diaz with Rizzo on second and two outs. Cubs down by one in the top of the ninth inning. Bruce waiting for the full count pitch. And that's popped up to left. I believe that's going to be playable. The left fielder comes in and he makes the catch to end the game. So the Cubs lose 6-5 here in Colorado for the first game of this road trip. The Cubs got five runs on 12 hits with no errors, while the Rockies got six runs on 12 hits with no errors. The Cubs bullpen actually pitched very well today. 
However, Iglesias gave up the dif the game difference home run in the bottom of the eighth inning. The Cubs bullpen actually threw two, three, four, five and two thirds innings of one run baseball. However, the Rockies hit the home run in the bottom of the eighth inning that was the difference maker. So Jairo Diaz gets his 22nd save of the season while Iglesias drops to three and six. The Cubs are now 71 and 73 while the Rockies improved to 71 and 75. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.